Check this out, so we're making money wherever we are. Hustling on the hustle, just to show people. I don't need the money, but I show people how easy it is. We're in Sydney, Australia, and uh, we're just taking this bike path from the Tash's uh, grandma's place. And it goes to the Fenix depot just in the corner here. I didn't know it was gonna be that simple, but I already committed and then the universe delivered. Let's go see what we've got in the bag. All right, so we've got some uh, some vapor flies. I've got to go to eBay, drop off to eBay. And this is some uh, some Nikes. Got seven pairs in there. And they've turned this S-Works we bought for $7.50 last week. The profits I make from these two drops is almost half for what this bike cost. It's pretty crazy. I've already made this bike uh, for free in dropping off shoes with this bike. Going to the depot, dropping shoes off, going to the outlets, buying shoes, flipping them, etc. So it's crazy. The S-Works already paid itself off. And it's, I've got a tripod in here. So it's a filming studio as well. Oh, we've got that it's about 10 bucks, that tripod from the second hand joint. We've got the moto gloves here. Punch on, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me. And uh, <laughs> let's get, look at this traffic here, man. Look at this traffic. This is where I came from. So you got that life or this life. You decide. Um, or you can do a hybrid of either, okay? Just showing you options here. Flat pedals and, you know, got the run the structures. You know what I mean? Getting it done, bro. No excuses, bro. No excuses. I don't need the money, but I do need to set the example for others. So I'm showing people how to hustle. And I love, I love selling shoes. I love riding my bike. I love being in nature. And I love being in traffic, setting the example. So you can set yourself up for, for to be a champ or to be a victim. Just a choice in the moment. Which you decide. It's like whatever country you live in, whatever country you live in, Everyone's got their excuses. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do this. Sydney, you can't ride a bike in Sydney. You can't do this. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, I'm like, fuck it. You know, when you lose your excuses, you find your results. When the why is strong enough, the how comes fucking instantly. You know, it's like it's 2023. You know, it's like it's a whole new world. You know, I, I, I always wanted to have a bike shop. Now I've got one. I always wanted to have a shoe shop. Now I've got one. All right? It's just like whatever you want, you can create. And it's easier now. You don't have to have this whole bricks and mortar set up. You can do shit online, right? Or you can have bricks and mortar, whatever you want to do, man. All right? Don't follow the old rules. Make new ones, all right? You remembered for the rules you break, not the rules you fucking follow, okay? Ain't breaking rules, ain't living. And just on the ethical side of rule breaking, if breaking the rules will make the world a better place, fucking break them. Here we are. This is FedEx. Hey. Yeah, you're stuck here, we got the rocks off. And I get to pole position parking here. Pole position parking. And then we get stock X. Hopefully that box isn't too damaged. It's a bit, a bit dodgy. Doing a dodgy curious. And it's that easy. That easy. So behind me here is where all the eBay just down there. Uh, unit number 22 for a bachelor avenue we're in lincoln lincoln mate and this is where they do the uh the offer or for make sure you're not selling any fake shoes the purchase is over 150 bucks in australia goes sent to ebay there if you're selling on ebay so sort of uh, ebay's version of stock x so i just dropped them off that saves that saves me about 60 bucks or just under 60 dollars i've saved by dropping the shoes off there versus posting them out and i get to ride my bike Get paid to ride, so I'm like, technically today a professional cyclist <laughs> without the stress of any performance metrics, etc. That's pretty cool, man. The bike life, the bike life keeps you lean, keeps you cashed up, keeps you happier. And I don't really know where I'm going, I've never ever ridden on this road. This is called Parramatta Road. Actually, I lie, I have ridden on Parramatta Road, but not this section of it. Uh, back in the day, I used to just ride around anywhere in the world. I had the maps I had was a paper map, I'd have to uh. Wipe the spit off my mouth and paper map. I have to pull out a paper map and look around like a, a lost seagull. But now it's all on your freaking phone. It's never been easier. How easy do we want it? <laughs> I think because life's so easy now, the opportunities are so there. People are like, oh, if I'm not making a thousand bucks a day, I'm not even getting out of bed. And that's when they stay broke, or they stay fat, or they stay sexless or whatever, when they have the opportunity, you know? So. There's, there's opportunities out there and when you're willing to put in the work and the hustle and swallow your pride and not be an egotistical douchebag like so many people be embarrassed to ride a bike especially with an Uber Eats thing on there like you know or 
Oh, it's an S Works bike, but it's 15 years old. Oh, well, I can't ride that. I can't be seen uh, by Francis and Kilpatrick seen riding a bike like this. Oh my God, I'd lose, I'd lose hand. <laughs> so get your hand off it and uh, live the life you want to live. But yeah, social anxiety people have. Damn, who wants to be a prisoner of that? Fuck that. Live the freedom life. Freedom, man. Speak your mind. Don't be a douche. Treat people how you want to be treated. Pay attention on the road. See you out there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the camera down, put my lights on, get in the traffic, and fucking rip it up. All right, we are back in Helston Park, Parramatta Road Express. It was... You see how lean my face gets, man. If you want a lean face, I guarantee, guys, guys out there, if you want a lean face, I can guarantee that. Join my coaching group. We're just getting that lean lifestyle. Lean face, guaranteed, guaranteed for life. I can't believe all those people stuck in traffic. I feel sorry for them. Man, that was that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I could, definitely couldn't be filming there because I was absolutely flexing and I ran every single red light. Not that you should, I don't recommend running red lights, but... And that's another reason why I don't have a driver's license, because I would lose it in the first week, 100%. Um, it just doesn't make sense for me to sit behind a red light when it's safe to go through it, only when it's safe to go through it. I'm not recommending that, I'm just saying that's me. My personality doesn't suit red lights. My personality suits the bicycle with no rego plates, and I'm just out of there. <laughs> Freedom, baby. And the, cr the crazy thing was, I didn't see another cyclist on Parramatta Road. I didn't pass a single cyclist. There was a few in the bike path going out. But when I came back from eBay, um, it was there was no one out there. There was a few thousand cars. I probably would, Maybe I passed about a thousand cars just then. Maybe more, who knows? Uh, cars weren't passing me. And if they were, they, the red light, I was passing them again. And then, then I'd run the red and bye-bye, see you later. Doper bikes. I love a good doper bike, okay? If Lance Armstrong would ride it, or Cookie Man, or anyone, Contador, I'll ride it. You know, especially these bikes, man. These are killer. Absolute killer. Thanks to whoever designed this SL2 S Works. Absolute ripper. It's in mint condition, rides like a brand new bike. A lot of little flip stem. It's sort of, when you're cutting through traffic, filtering like a salmon, the bit increased stack height sort of gives you a bit more vision up ahead, watching out for car doors, etc. Stay safe out there, gang. And uh, stay safe. Beautiful. Man, I spent zero money today on fuel. I don't know, maybe, maybe made 500 bucks today total. All my asset streams coming in. And, uh, you know, developed some fitness, had a great time. And just, yeah. I didn't really want to go ride ding today with all the boxes, you know. But I'm like, dude, first of all, problems, get out there, get amongst it. And now I'm absolutely buzzing. I feel amazing. Try and wind down, have some dinner, go to bed, get an early night, and do it again tomorrow. What do you think? Are you comfortable? Yes. They're great once they're on. Harachi's no laces. Even without. This week I bought hundred about 130 pairs of shoes and at about $50 profit each, that's about $6,500 Australian profit I could make in a week if I really wanted to. Um, now, obviously, I'll make that profit over time, just stripping the shoes out. But it'd be easy just to sell the shoes, go in town, just just cold approach, cold approach, cold approach, just cold canvas for customers. And if you sell 14 pairs a day, that's, you know, it's 500, uh, 700 bucks a day, you know, times five. It's, you know, you can just crank it out. Anyway, we do have Jesse Coyle uh, on the, the channel in the next couple of days. I was going to make some room on my laptop. Caught up with Jesse for a 40 minute video yesterday. So that's going to be a very interesting one. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, gang. And uh, we'll see you next video. Have a great day. Cub up, spin to win. Dance like Lance.